we will talk today about five myths in science and spirituality. Usually science and spirituality or science and religion are considered as, as things hard to reconciliate. And we usually we think they are in constant opposition, in constant conflicts. However, uh, some scholars think, and I agree with them, that basically these views of conflict, of not possibility of conciliation, are based in some myths. Several myths that are widespread worldwide regard regarding the relationship between science and spirituality and science and religion. We will cover here five of the most important myths that we think block the advancement of the discussion between science and spirituality. But to start, it's important to discuss about some definitions. There are several definitions of spirituality, of religion, but we will work here with a definition of spirituality that is well accepted in an academic environment, although there are some discussions. We consider here spirituality as the relationship with the sacred and transcendent, or transcendent, like God, higher power, or ultimate truth, ultimate reality. So the spirituality means our connection, our relationship with the transcendent aspect of the universe, the trans transcendent aspect of life. And religion is the organized system of beliefs, practices, rituals, and symbols designed to facilitate closeness to the sacred or transcendent. So basically religion is the institutional aspect of spirituality. Spirituality could be personal, our own relationship with the transcendent, with the sacred, and this kind of relationship can happen in an organized system, in a community. This community would be called religion. And now let's introduce briefly the five myths that are considered used usually as plain facts. People think you very often that these myths are the objective reality, how the universe is. One, the first myth is the idea that the universe is composed only by matter or physical force. The idea here is that anything beyond matter or physical force are illusion, is illusion. So the idea that we can explain everything in the universe, reducing our explanation to basic principles, basically on matter and physical force. Matter and physical force would generate everything in the universe. And then, based on this idea, anything beyond materialism is superstition or anti-scientific. And this is also related to an idea, confusion or conflation of scientific explanation with materialistic explanation. It's very common when some uh, journalists ask us, for example, is there any scientific explanation for near-death experience? By asking that, they actually mean, is there any materialistic, reductionist explanation for near-death experience? The second myth, brain produces mind. This is repeatedly so often that people take for granted that the brain produces mind, that the mind is just a product of brain activity, electrical and chemical activity. So based on, based on that, there is the idea that you are just biological robots. There is nothing beyond that, and that mind is just this product. The third major myth is regarding the idea of a perennial conflict between science and religion. This is very often, very widespread. We are taught this since uh, we are very young, in school, in science journalism, even in scientific uh, literature. We, it's, it, this idea is repeated very, very often that there is a perennial conflict between science and religion. Fourth myth is that it's not possible to perform scientific studies on religion and spirituality. It's just a, a matter of faith, and then science 
that is, there is no relationship between science and spirituality and religion, and it's not possible to perform any scientific studies on this. It's just based on blind faith. And our last myth that we will discuss here is the idea that there is a perennial opposition between medicine and religion. That medicine and religion have been always in conflict and they cannot be reconciliated. So our idea here is to discuss, to cover very briefly each of these myths.